So now let's see how we can work around with the color warper chroma luma option inside of DaVinci Resolve for color correction. So here in the footage, you can see that I am currently in the color warper section right here, and I'm accessing the hue saturation um, tool right here. If I were to go around and click on uh, this uh, squares icon right here, then what, I, what happens is that I access the chroma and luma right here. So over here, you can see that you get, got the warm and cool channel right here, the color tones, and then you got the green and magenta color tone over here. So if I were to go around and push this, what happens is that the footage becomes more yellow, as you can see right here. So you can go around and push this and push this around over here. So the bottom part right here are the uh, shadows, while the top part over here that you can see are the highlights. So you can go around, push the highlights to be blue right here, and push the shadows to be more, let's say, like yellow over here, just like this. So you can go around and pull these points out right here, as you can see. And same goes with the green right here and the magenta, as you can see, just like this. So now if I were to go around over here and then push this, you can see that I can make it more blue and I can go around and pull out the points right here just like this uh, to work around with midtones as you can see. I can increase this in value right here and work around with individual points as you can see. So I can go around over here, take sample of a particular color range right here just like this. You can go around and then see this and you can click and drag this around to change around its um, um, a property color properties as you can see just by clicking and dragging over here and you can see that the points over here moves just like that as well. You can go around over here and click on a certain portion so you know like what will change it out. You can go around and see like if I were to move this the change happens. You can make the grid much more detailed by going around over here and maybe have 24 by 24 grid right here or 4 by 4 grid as you can see to have less uh, detail right here. So let me just go around onto 16 level up detail right here and if I were to go around there are many different tools right here. You can select out different points right here and then you can move it out just like this as well. You can go around over here and pin out let's say for example certain points right here so that um, they don't actually move around with the other points like uh, just like this. For example, here you can see that there's pinned areas. So if I were to actually move this, nothing happens to the rest of it as you can see right there. So if I were to go around over here, then you can see that I can go around and increase the selection right here or decrease out the selection as well, just like this. You can also invert out the selection that you see right here and then you can pin out everything if you want to as well. So apart from that, you can go around and then pin out, let's say, for example, a certain column right here, just like this. Or you can go around and pin out, let's say, for example, certain row over here by clicking this as well. So that is what you have, as you can see. And you can select all right here, just like this, uh, and then work around with all, everything like chroma right here, like luma right here, as you can see, just like this as well. You can go around over here, revert it back right here. So you can go around over here, revert it back to default by going around and by clicking on this uh, button right here. So that is what you have as you can see right here. And then you can go around and then invert out the selection right here just like this onto this section as well. So there's grid one and grid two that you constantly work with. And over here you can see the reins as well. So you can click and drag around on the reins as well so that you have this. You can go around over here, click and drag the reins over here and you have this over here as well. You can work around with the chroma uh, and you can see that it changes out the chroma right here. Then you can work around with the luma to change around the brightness over here just like this as well. And you can go around and then let's say for example you want to feather out to make the selection much more smoother then that is something that you can do as well. So you can go around over here and make around like feather around everything right here. You can revert back as well and you can revert back everything right here and feather out the luma over here just like this as well just by clicking on it or you can go around and then reset it out just like this as well. And this is how you can go around. You can expand certain points right here. You can go around and then uh, let's say decrease the size of certain points right here just like this. So that is how you can work around with the color warper chroma luma option inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.